Hello everyone and welcome to the map Alcyone. Joining me here, today's highlight professional best of three series of StarCraft 2. The blue probes, the Protoss, warping in, controlling the upper right corner. It is Trap. And the Zerg opponent, the red drone soon to be swarm, I'm sure. The bottom left, it is dark. And here in the middle of the map, the gold mineral base, a gambit full of ambition, I'm sure. It is Dark's Hatchery. <laughs> is he gonna find it? Trap. Trap? Oh yeah, of course. Absolutely going to find it. No naturey whatsoever. Dark going straight for the gold. I'm sorry. Wait. That's a forge. And I don't think it was part of the plan. Trap. The on-the-fly decision-making here. This was a reactive cannon rush. Oh my gosh, that is such good placement. The probe's completely safe there. Make the cannon, and the probe will just scoot right across. Oh my gosh. Protoss is so broken. How does it work? It makes no sense. Dark's gonna call it. Alright, calling the bluff. Here come the cannons. The queen's gonna be made. I don't think this will work out very well for the hatchery, though. I, I don't think the hatchery's gonna make it out of this. At the very least, unscathed. Dark's already thrown down a third hatchery at the natchery location, we could call it. The cannons will complete, so traps is uh, we're, we're both calling it, we're all in here, everybody's playing their hand. Yeah, and this hatchery's going down very quickly. Ah, there, there's no hope. This is not happening. We're gonna try to get larva out of this? Dark, you mad lad. Okay, and the queen's just gonna start the slow saunter jog all the way back. Oh, did the larva even finish? Nope, that is not happening. Would have had better luck just making a creep tumor. Well, at least get a few drones out of it, I suppose. On the other side, Dark did send a pair of lings over to, to do a little bit of scouting. Maybe see how committed Trap was. And if it's violence that we're talking about, Trap is very committed. Those bros that shivs out, shanks at the ready boys, stab those lings, okay? Adept will be here. We'll be able to clean all that up before Link Speed even finishes. The cannons, the cannons uh, will remain as, as a remnant of what transpired here. Probes, this little probe, it doesn't show kill count for a probe because the cannons did the dirty work, but we know who who is responsible here. Okay. Oh. Oh. The showdown. Oh, a trap makes first blood. <laughs> the damage. Oh, the lings here. Drone calling in his buddies. It's like the, the one guy on the football team that got picked on. So then the whole team has to come after the probe. Very fair. Completely normal response. Well, after a, a rather unexpected early game with a now slightly decorative forge and very decorative cannons. Uh, wh what's actually going to happen here? It looks like Dark is going up into the Roach tech. Third hatch? I don't know. Losing the gold base, losing that little bit of, uh, of gambit there, I feel Dark is probably going to just go for a two base attack. If I had to guess, that would be my thought. Like, Trap is feeling sneaky, feeling clever, like, ha, I got his gold base. He won't be getting those minerals. And the rest of us are like, yeah, but you also probably just forced a two base all in. In, in fairness. Let's think this through. Okay. The Oracle 
choice, of course, from the Protoss here. We're getting quite a bit of damage done, actually. I can't even click it just to see the kill count. Six kills. Oh, the revelation tag goes out onto the hatchery and the spawning pool. The real victims of this attack, of course. Group of Lings on the other side. Not going to find any major damage, though. Decent amount of Protoss defenses standing by. Stalker and Sentry actually holding the gate, so a force field would just completely block the access there. The Overlord Convention on the far right side. A little bit of vacation time being used there. And uh, the, the roaches are here. Uh, the roach attack is done. No, no roach speed at all even necessary here. There is a Void Ray for the defense, the Protoss version of the Banshee, shutting down these roach timings. The question is, how much damage are they going to get done in the meantime? The Oracle's pitching in as well. Ravager Cocoon started. The Void Ray still focusing it down, which I think is probably the best move. Force Field, as mentioned, holding the door, so the Dark's not going to get in this time. No Ravagers to shut down the Force Field, which I think might be... A little bit of a mistake there. Having at least, you know, one to two just to try to shut down the force field or to bile, make the air units move. Oh, the dark is going to try it now, getting the Ravagers, another group of Lings over on the third base side. Oh, got the force field. Now he's being picked on by a sentry. Sentry tickle beam damage in force in play bile connecting with actually nothing they killed off the adept first but dark, dark's gonna get into the base the probes have to be pulled the batteries out of energy and overcharge was used over at the third base so there's not going to be a whole lot here to help the defense the probes are being slaughtered unsafe work conditions if i've ever seen them I'm pretty sure the probes are almost killing roaches not looking too good i'll say for the working class of the Protoss here. 22, 23, and counting. It's just knocking them down to even, though. I'll say Dark is spending a lot on this. Plus one. It should complete. It should be totally fine. Another group hits the third base, though. Dark keeping on the pressure. But I'll say Trap is still alive. Still holding, actually. The Oracle's a little less than helpful, not quite ideal at this exact moment. The Ling's getting a fair bit done, 25 probes total. Although, get the battery. Not much else, though. And it feels like some of the gas is being lost in this attack, the metaphorical gas, that is. Literal gas was the roaches being lost, but... Steam. We'll, we'll go with steam. There's, there's no steam resource in this game. Dark losing a bit of steam in this attack and this pressure trap will hold it for now. Still alive. Dark did make a wave of drones behind this, so he's going to try to transition out, which... I don't know. It Feel, feels a little, uh, little optimistic there, if I might say. So I think killing enough probes that it's going to force trap into an attack. Where are the oracles? Oh my god, these cannons are still alive. All oh, the oracles here getting a little bit of damage done, picking off a few drones. Maybe just pulling the queens out of position, too. Dark focusing a bit too much on the drone count. There's not enough army units. There's only eight lings on the field. It's going to be up to the queens, which don't really have that much energy for transfuses. They will force the void ray back. Spore crawler. Get in the way of the Protoss. Spore crawler. That's a body blocking crawler. Drones are going to be pulled off the line and sent right back. Some reinforcements coming from the Protosta, who's also got this forward warp in the cannon pylon. Full circle. The cannon pylon shuts down the gold base hatchery and serves as a warp in point to end the match. What a, what a beautiful game number one. Ooh. Mm. Onwards now. Map number two. Map number two in the series shall be Ghost River, the Zerg player here. The upper left corner, of course, having a little bit of a struggle closing map number one out, but not for lack of aggressive effort. It is dark. And the opponent, the stalwart defender and cannon rusher from map number one. It is, of course, Trap. 
no no cannons this time though the, I mean, truth be told that forge it felt very reactive I, I think looking at that trap didn't actually plan the cannon rush he just saw dark going for the gold and was like really the lack of respect dark like you just nothing you just go straight for the gold base you think you own this map you think you own this series trap felt slighted he felt disrespected enough to go for the forge which oddly enough i think should make us all respect the forge a little bit more right the decision there i i'm okay with it I, honestly thinking about it <laughs> i don't think i would have come to that conclusion myself in, in trap shoes so I'm, I'm quite pleased i'm quite impressed with that things are looking a lot more dreadfully normal so far for map number two though the hatch in the very normal naturey position trap not going for any semblance of scout here not even going to send the probe across which means either trap is getting confident disrespectful or maybe the timing the plan the build is going to need enough minerals enough gas that it's down to every single probe matters I have to say, as things unfold, maybe we'll get that answer. Cybercore's gonna complete. What's the tech choice? That's the big tell from the Protoss. It's gonna be a stalker first from the gateway, which tells me Trap wants to try to shut down the Overlords. It's gonna be a Stargate. Okay, normal, normal Stargate choice. Nothing off, nothing odd there. Dark on the other side, going for the third hatch. Fine. Totally fine timing. No issues. Oh dear. Everybody spent their chaotic wild magic cards on the map number one. We're just down to a normal boring game. Okay. I'm sure they'll fix that soon enough though. You have time to grab your beverage it would seem. Second gate. Warp gate about halfway done choice from the Stargate. Place your bets. And if it's not an Oracle, you're probably wrong. It's an Oracle. Of course it's an Oracle. You knew it. I know you all picked Oracle. Oracle. Because you guys are intelligent, professional ladder players, I'm sure. Ooh. That Roach Warren's a little early, Dark. Perhaps another bit of an attack. The third hatch definitely will be online a bit uh, better to help out this time. Have the extra larva. And no major losses. Hardly any losses at this point. A couple zerglings scouting around. Going to find the third base for Trap. A couple drones being picked off by that very rude oracle. Is it just the one? It is just the one. Oh, well, that would be because production time is a thing, and the second one is just now being completed. So, spore crawlers on the way dark, choosing not to cut the corners, it would seem. Going for the spores. Does Trap know about the Roach Warren? He does. Absolutely. Oracle. Checking around. No drones at the third base to harass. To be rude to. Six roaches in the production tab though. Good gosh, the oracle damage cuts through larva armor so quickly. Trap is going for a glaive push. What? Okay. Well, the <laughs> glaive adepts are going to be what has to hold the defense up against queens and roaches. I'm not sure that's going to work out terribly well. There's a Void Ray on the way, which is going to be Chrono Boosted, which needs to be Chrono Boosted, because Dark is once again trying to pull the trigger with essentially a two-base play. A third hatch. You thought he was going to have a third base? No, this is a third hatch. What are you talking about? Roaches already picking on the Adept Sunk. Start to drain the energy on those batteries. A third shield battery is almost done. Stalker is going to be warped in behind this. The third Nexus killed or cancelled. Either way, it is not here. It was quite deleted. The Queens, there's no creep for transfusing. So, 
Like at this point, uh, well, luckily just one Void Ray isn't going to do a whole lot here. It's going to do a whole lot of nothing at this point. There's a dark shrine being made behind this. What on earth trap? The cyber core is going to be picked off. It's way too exposed. This is the disadvantage to using it as part of the wall. Well, Biles focusing down the battery a bit. They will eventually get it. Destroy that battery. The cyber core is starting to take a bit more damage here. Lings connecting with probes. Dark pulling the lings back right at that split second before the Biles hit. Probe starting to fall. What's the bile choice? Is he going for the Stargate? You go for the batteries? The Queen's helping out picking off the gateway by, and this trap's going to lose a little bit of production. I see a lair in the production behind this, so Dark is somewhat thinking about the future, maybe. Where's the Dark Shrine? It's at the very back of the main base, so Dark may not actually know about the Dark Shrine. Despite it being a dark shrine, of course. DT's warping in now. They, they're going to help out with the defense. There is no detection. There is no hope of dark being able to clean up the dark Templar. Uh -huh. 23 probes have fallen, though. Things are looking, I'll say, not too great, really, for either of them right now. Uh, Dark's gonna be really glad that Lair is on the way. Get an Overseer here to help out, but you're gonna lose a lot in the meantime. These Queens... Enjoy it, Protoss players. Oh, gets a little distracted. Dark trying to maybe just uh, get a little bit of distraction work done himself here. Ling's occupying this part of the main base, and the Protoss cannot leave. Sentries and one adept? No way. Absolutely not. Overseer does complete the morph in. Queens eviscerated on the battlefield. Regicide is done. There's one Ravager here to help out with dealing with the force fields. Oh. Mm. On cooldown? It's on cooldown still. At this point, I think you just leave it be. Overseer going to set up shop, help spot the Dark Templar, will be successful in that. A few reinforcements behind this to help out. The Protoss forces are just dwindling. Oh, it's just not enough, I think, for the defense. The DTs, it was a nice call. It really was. It helped out with the defense on that first wave, but they are expensive. Dark, Dark Templar, relatively pricey. That cloak, whatever they've got going on for their cloaking generator. Tough to maintain. Ravager's gonna get stuck on the other side of the force field. Oh, will. Oh, okay. gonna focus down the battery. Start to take the high ground at this point. I think it's enough roaches. Dark should be able to at least control the natural. Trap still warping in more batteries. There's no overcharge though, so their batteries are just gonna start to drain of energy. Why are drones dying? I don't know. Maybe drones made it to the front line. Overseer, actually very important unit in this uh, army battle here, because Dark Templar at any point could show up. Trap is just running out of money, though. We really, it's coming down to this. It's like five roaches, guys. <laughs> Dark's going to turn him into Ravagers in a second. Overseer shows up. One adept. Is the choice that's all Trap can afford at this moment. More probes being picked off. Ling's here to reinforce. We'll be able to surround the Stalker and end the map. Dark. Tenacious. Keeping up the pressure. Really committing to the two base plays so far. These matches have been a fair bit quicker than I expected them to be. Well, we have a series, though, one to one, all tied up onwards now to the grand finale. The grand finale will be played out on the map Site Delta. Here, the Zerg player shall occupy the upper left corner, which means, of course, the bottom right must belong to the Protoss. And I am eager to see what's going on with this gas first trap. Hmm. Intriguing. Gas, then gate, huh? 
unusual choice, but perhaps not an aggressive choice, just maybe a statement more than anything else. Didn't want to focus the gas either. I'll say trap. He went for uh, went for the minerals first. Full 16 on the minerals and is now just rallying into the gas. So something's up. I'm going to keep an eye on the Protoss. Hey, Terrans. All the Terran plays. I know you guys are already watching the Protoss like a hawk. Ready to pounce. Just keep an eye on them for me. Okay. Let me know if they're up to no good. No, no, not that quickly. I know they're Protoss. But we <laughs> Besides the point, they're always up to no good, Indigos. I know, I know. All right, other side of the map. Let's check out the Zerg. Things looking, I'll say, actually impressively normal. Nothing off, nothing odd, nothing unusual. I guess the traps build is going to be the, the name of the game for the early portion. It's going to get the second gas. Pylon. That's a, that's a hide my buildings here pylon. I want something like my Stargate to go right here. The Overlord does eventually make its way to the Protoss' side. We'll see the gate and the Cybercore, the natural nexus, and go, Ha! Very normal, Sir Protoss. Are you feeling well today? Uh, they both, I'm telling you, they both got their uh, their very chaotic and wild cards out of the way on map number one. Now it's just relatively normal. Dark is doing a super aggressive a two to three base timing. Trap is desperately trying to hold it into whatever build Trap was hoping to do initially. Which we haven't really gotten to see, I'll say. I don't, I don't quite know what Trap, uh, his goal has been, the, the builds, because it's kind of been... I'm going to get to do whatever I want for like six minutes, and then I have to panic defend all of Dark shenanigans. Which I guess is probably how a lot of people feel when they play against Dark. It's not that uncommon for him to do these kinds of things. The choice is a Void Ray first. I like it. Warms my low metal league heart. <laughs> get the Void Ray, pick off the Overlord. The choice from the gateway was a couple of adepts, so no stalker, not going for that yet. We'll see what the secondary tech choice is going to be. Map number two, Trap kind of went for, it was going to go for glaives, but never really got to use the glaives at that point. It, it came down, as I mentioned, to like the scrambled defense. Oh. Overlord, realizing what a terrible day it is to be the one that gets sent across to the other side of the map. We'll find that. The Dark does have a second one over here. Which feels like an odd choice, actually sending multiple across. You did- how did you not see him? I know Trap wasn't looking at it, but come on, the Void Ray itself, it was on an attack command. Ugh. All right, well, Dark's Ovi's going to get to survive, which may come into play, depending on if Dark makes something that rhymes with the Bonitas network. Okay. There is the lair on the way, and no Roach Warren. Dark changing it up a little bit. No Roach Warren this time. Trap is getting the Twilight and the Forge, same time here. The Adepts actually choose to complete those shades, which feels like quite the death sentence. They will both be picked off. Scouting denied, relatively. I mean, all Trap really got to see was that the lair was on the way, which is all we can see. What's the choice going to be, though? There's no Roach Warren. Is this a queen play? He's got six. Queen production, it, it's not, you know, constant. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting to see the lair finish. This smells like Night Us. You, you can sm just smell it in the air. I told you, Nidus network on the way. Okay, it's going to be Lings, Queens, and Banes is the choice. Huh. So Dark is changing it up a bit. Trap is going to go for Blink this time, which feels like always the better choice than going for Glaze. You may have heard me rip on Stalkers before, but I love Stalkers more than Adepts. 
would always choose to have the stalker over the adept, even if I'm fighting something that the adept really is better at. Just, I'm, I don't like change, okay? The adepts, they're from Legacy of the Void. I've had stalkers since Wings of Liberty 2010. I trust them. I know them. And speaking of trust, uh, probably shouldn't trust the ground in this case. Nidus Worm, it will actually be spotted, but won't be able to be stopped, because that's a lot of Zerglings, Batman. The Queens, four of them come out of the Nidus, which is somewhere between not as many as I thought and somehow more than expected. The probes on hold position will... Everybody's hugging the battery, okay. Stalkers, here to help out. Oh god, the Banes. That's a lot of Banes. And they're probably just going to go back into the worm because there's another worm here in the main. Everybody pour into the maw of the Nidus. The probes will be evacuated. The Banes start to come out. Well, some of them at least. There's still quite a few in there, in truth. Blink. Blink! No! It's got one second! Dark, how could you? The pylon was killed off. It's unpowered. It's gonna be denied. Oh my gosh, that hurts. Force fields go out. The queens, the banes, doing some serious work on the main base here. There's a lot of zerglings and a hydra den behind this. This is not going well. Uh-uh. Not in the slightest. The banes looking to find the probes. They're gonna get some of them. They find just enough. 25 probes killed off. Knocking trap down to 35. Dark sitting at a comfortable just about to be 60. The third base is still intact, but the main base is certifiably Zerg annexed at this point. Things are not looking good, and trap agrees. Dark is going to take the map, and with it, the series. Very explosive ending. I think the real victim in all of this was the Twilight Council. Somebody was working on the blink tech, got all the way. One second until completion. This proves Protoss and their dependency on power is frankly underpowered. Okay? I think that's the best pun I could possibly make right now. I thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I hope you have a great day.